saying it. Chris speak says. Out. Yeah. That's why I'm so good at that game. I have to speak to people like this all day. Oh my god, that's so funny. I'll be ready. <laughs> ready. You're not going to be able to talk now. You're going to be spitting that everywhere. Right, give it a minute. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hello if you're new here. My name is Asha, also known as Asha Mary Lou over on Instagram. My hair is so frizzy. It looks even worse on camera. I'm trying not to put any heat on it in lockdown, so just ignore its natural state. So today's video has been very, very long awaited. So do accept my apologies for that. I have already explained this, but this vlog I've been filming last year over the space of six months i think um and basically at the end of last year i sent my camera off so i could get a replacement from curry's because my old one broke and when i sent the camera off i stupidly sent it off with my memory card in it which had all of the footage from this vlog on it and i only got it back earlier at the beginning of this year so curry's basically did everything they could to like find it in like their scrap center and they actually got it back to me which was just amazing so after a lot of hours of editing because there is so much footage in this vlog i have finally put this vlog together so you are going to see me get my teeth done with the incredible dr matt parsons now before i go into what i've actually had done i just want to talk a little bit about matt so matt is obviously a dentist but he is super talented talented at doing a smile makeover that would be from giving somebody an invisalign to straighten their teeth and then applying composite veneers but his composite veneers are like outstanding they are literally the best i think that there is out there not only his work though matt is such a nice guy to be around and matt for me just completely changed my outlook on the way i look at going to a dentist like he made me feel so comfortable and he is just like a true professional he is honestly the perfect balance of like having banter and like building rapport with you obviously he's a young dentist so he's just got the right balance of making you feel comfortable and being able to have a laugh with him um but also being like the most probably professional medical person i've ever dealt with but something that really really stands out with matt is that not only does his work speak for itself he is literally incredible at what he does not only is he a true professional, he is so honest and so transparent and you could literally go to him and ask anything and you know that you're not going to get just some bullshit answer. Like he is so good at explaining things as well. And yeah, he's just an absolute top bloke, but I'm going to stop there because Matt, if you're watching this, I don't want your head to get too big. But honestly, guys, he is like the best in the business. So what I've had done is an Invisalign, which is like a clear brace. Now I vlogged a hell of a lot of the Invisalign at the time, and I've actually taken a lot of it out of this final video because I think the most important part is like the application of the composite veneers and like the Q&A that I've got in here with Matt. The Invisalign is probably something I can just quickly explain in this intro so I have got a little bit of footage um, of the Invisalign I've got like the scan that you'll see which gives you like an ideal outlook of what it's going to look like at the end after you've finished your brace um, and I've also got like a couple of other bits in to do with the Invisalign but other than that this is mainly for the composite veneers but basically the Invisalign is like a clear aligner brace it's kind of like a mini retainer that sort of straightens your teeth so you get little attachments put onto your teeth and they kind of feel like little pieces of glue the way that your trays then clip onto like all those little lumps which are like strategically placed is how your teeth actually move to be straight which is just crazy like the technology behind it literally blows my mind even watching it back now i went to matt originally just wanting composite veneers and this comes back to him being like so honest and transparent and professional he said to me great we could put composite veneers straight on your teeth how they are right now however the longevity of them might not be there because the way that my teeth sat um they could have grinded down or chipped or caught like on each other which meant that the composite veneers wouldn't last as long as they essentially should so he recommended that i had a brace you'll see in the footage of the invisalign that i have what's called a crossbite so you've probably heard of um underbites overbites before but i actually had a crossbite in this left section of my teeth so like three of my top left teeth sat behind my bottom teeth it was just those three teeth it was like the weirdest thing all the right side was fine and all like the back of my left teeth were fine but just these few teeth here sat really weird so when i bit down they sort of 
hit each other um, and like grinded against each other, which explains why my teeth here were a lot shorter than they are on the right. You will see all of this, of course. And I always knew that they were like slightly wonky, but I never kind of knew exactly what it was. And when he said it was a crossbite, well, obviously then it all made sense. So before getting the composite veneers applied, I had the Invisalign to correct my crossbite in my teeth, just so that the veneers then would sit exactly where Matt thinks they should, just for me to get like the most out of them, if that makes sense. So everybody's Invisalign is different. Mine was for 14 weeks. Obviously yours will be for a set period of time as well depending on what changes need to be made to your teeth. So mine was for 14 weeks and I changed mine every week. So I changed my aligners once a week onto the next one for a total of 14 weeks. So you will either change them either every week or I think it's every two weeks. So it's either weekly or fortnightly depending on your teeth. So once my Invisalign was up, you will see what they look like after the Invisalign. So you'll see the before and after of the Invisalign. And then obviously you'll see like the complete before and after of the Invisalign and the composite veneers. So once my teeth were actually aligned where they should be, it completely corrected the crossbite. Like I couldn't believe the difference in my teeth just from the Invisalign. So once my teeth were straightened, I could really see just how much shorter they were on the left hand side compared to the right where they had obviously been grinding down over the years that I'd had the crossbite for. So once my teeth were aligned and they were all properly in place, I could then get my composite veneers done. When it comes to the Invisalign, Matt said something to me that sort of stuck in my head and he just basically said like the amount of like work you put in, like the more consistent you are with it, then like the better the results are going to be. So obviously you have to take it out to eat. So like three times a day I was taking it out, you have to brush your teeth and put them back in. When I was going on nights out, like I'd go out to restaurants and bars with the girls, I'd wear mine and then take them out every food and drink that I had on that night out and then brush my teeth and put them back in, which is like crazy. Most people probably would have just not worn them on the night out, but I really, really, really wanted it to work like the best way possible. And the thing is, if maybe I hadn't have worn them as regular and as often as I did, as like was highly recommended, I probably would have had to have an extra couple of aligners at the end to make sure that they were right. So I was told it would be 14 weeks and because of how I stuck to it, it actually was 14 weeks. So you do have to put effort in with an Invisalign. Like I had a toothbrush and toothpaste in like every clutch bag like that I took out everywhere. So at that point, my teeth were all good to go with the composite veneers and you will see some amazing footage in this vlog. Like I was watching it back when I was editing it and I can't believe how good the footage is of the actual composite veneers being applied to my teeth. So with composite veneers, they do not cause any harm at all to your natural teeth. So my Invisalign came off, all the bits of like glue, the attachments were shaved off and the composite veneers was applied directly onto my teeth as they were. No shaving down, your teeth don't need to look like pegs before they go in with the composite. It is literally the best way to improve the appearance of your teeth, causing like no or minimal damage to your actual teeth underneath. I actually went for like the whitest shade you could get in composite, um, which I still think looks really, really natural, but I just wanted them to be white, kind of like go hard or go home sort of thing. Um, but I think when you see like these turkey teeth, as me and Matt call them, like when people go out to have their teeth done abroad. Um, obviously they look really good, but they are like super white. Like you can get like crazy white teeth. And also there is unfortunately damage caused to your natural teeth. So they do shave them down to be like little pegs inside like the implant, if that makes sense. Obviously it goes without saying, I will put Matt's Instagram handle down below. He's got a website now as well, where I think you can inquire about booking in for a consultation. I think that's like the quickest way to get in touch with him. Um, but at the time that I got my teeth done, he was based in a practice in Wrexham, which is about 40 minutes from me. So that's where you will see all of my appointments. However, he is now split between two practices. In Liverpool, he's in a practice called Doofy Dental. I think that's how I say it. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. And um, in Manchester, a place called Rue Dental, R-U-H Dental, I think. I think I'm saying those right. As soon as lockdown is over, I'm gonna go and get my teeth like polished for the first time. So you can get composite veneers like polished and sort of make sure that you're staying on top of like any staining or scratches and that sort of thing. And also, James really wants to get his teeth done after seeing mine. He is now like convinced that he wants his done and I will not let him go to anybody but Matt. So as soon as lockdown is over, we're gonna go and see Matt. I might see if he will let me vlog James's experience with him. So don't think James needs an Invisalign. He's got pretty straight teeth, but he definitely wants composite veneers doing so. I might see if he'll let me vlog that too now that he's in the new practices and stuff like that. Watching the footage back is actually really weird because I've got my old teeth. 
I've got my old nose, I've got my old hair, and I've actually lost a little bit of weight as well. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up. I've rambled on in this part far too much. I'm gonna shut up and let you watch the footage. Hi, my name's Matt. Um, I'm a dentist. I've been qualified for about six years now, coming up to. And Ash is coming to see us today about maybe trying to improve the appearance of the teeth a little bit. Um, and we spoke a lot about cops of the knees and tooth whitening and, and, and things like that. And yeah, excited to get going. Literally, I've been showing up on the pictures and they're like, we've never noticed it, but now you've pointed it out. <laughs> yeah, so what is cool, so as you can see, kind of the slope going up towards your left. Yeah. If I press play, what it does, it pulls everything over that cross part on the left and then drags it down. It, it's going to take a lot of perseverance on your part in yeah. terms of you've got to be really, really good at your lines um, because they're not easy movements to do, but as long as you're good, it should work. Um, the only thing that is worth talking about is can you see what I've done across these upper four teeth is left little spaces in between them. Mm -hmm. That's because we know that we're doing the composites afterwards. Mm -hmm. So we can close these spaces with composites. And what that means is that the upper arch is kind of slightly bigger and wider. Yeah. Which means that when the teeth bite together, there's a bit more space between your lower teeth and your top teeth. You yeah. if you tuck all that in, it's a bit of a tighter bite. Mm -hmm. What that means is that the composite team taking a, a bit less force and should last a little bit longer. So thinking where we want to end up and then working back from there and thinking, right, where do we want the teeth to be to allow us to do that, if that makes sense. Um, other things to show you, your attachments. Um, this is where they are. Okay. You've got this lovely one on your front tooth. Weirdly enough, the ones on the front, the very front teeth, aren't as noticeable because you're them dead on. Yeah. It's these ones on the canines that you get noticed because you see them in profile. So can you see that? Obviously they're not going to be red. Yeah. Empty, but you're going to notice that one. And you're gonna notice so that's what, because I was watching a video and it's, I could see them on people's, like on the side of people's teeth here. That's what they are. Exactly. Okay. They are, you, you always see the ones on the canines. Because, yeah. Because you see it kind of almost in silhouette if you like. So you see that strange shape. Whereas on your front tooth, because it's tooth coloured, and most people look at you directly from the front. You can't really tell yeah. them these teeth are. Yeah, a fair few. These are all, it looks like loads. You won't even know that these are there, to be honest with you. These are kind of for rotation, so that these semicircle shapes, mm -hmm. they allow the tooth to kind of... So fit. how do they fix on? So they're glued to your teeth. So they're basically just white fillings. So it's the same, it's composite on them. Um, so you glue them on, and it just allows the aligner to put the force that it's meant to put onto these teeth. Um, so, for example, let me show you. So you can see how this tooth has been what's called extruded, so it's been kind of pulled down. Yeah. Now if I zoom in on the attachment there, can you see how it's kind of like a bit of a yeah. shape? So what the It's aligner, like a climbing wall. Exactly, no, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. So what the, the aligner will do is it will be tighter here than it is here, if yeah. that makes sense. So it's that kind of that door wedge effect. So because it pushes there and because it's a wedge, it kind of forces the tooth to slide mm -hmm. downwards, if that makes sense. So, they're all very clever and all these different little curves and angles and stuff all do a different different job. Yeah, and that they look is amazing. much it. They're gonna look really good. Cool, so here's all your aligners. Um they're all numbered, so you've got upper and lower one of fourteen. Um they are from like a little sandwich bag. So there's fourteen in total, yeah? So fourteen in total. There's normally extras at the end, what called the five. There you go, there's your first top one. Oh my god, that is mad. That's crazy. And then we can actually do something cool here. So that's that one. And if I just open up number 14. So this is my first ever one. So look at your top teeth then on number 14. Look at that, the difference in the shape oh of your Oh my watch. god, that is crazy. That is mad. It's widened it so much, hasn't it? Yeah. Then lower. Not so much of a difference, but a little bit different. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I'm so excited. So this is the little bag that I got from Matt when I picked up my Invisalign stuff. And then in the bag is this box. So in here you have got an information leaflet, uh, which just tells you how to clean them, how to put them in, take them out, that sort of thing. But your dentist obviously goes over all of that with you as well. And then here, I've obviously already used mine loads, um, but this is a little case to keep them in. So when you take them out, for example, if you're at work or if you're out having food, and this little gold box here is just some cleaning crystals for your aligners. And then these here are my aligners. So how Matt is doing it and how I think every dentist does it, I suppose is 
gives you a certain amount at a time so I am actually only having it for 14 weeks so I have 14 aligners in total so what he's doing is he's giving me four at a time and then I have an appointment every four weeks so I'm just coming to the end of aligner number one which is here and then obviously there's two three and four and then at the end of my week four aligner I've got an appointment with him and that's when I'll get the next four and it's funny because as the numbers go along I can actually see the aligners getting more straight to how I want my teeth to be so that's quite exciting to see actually so i have just pulled up outside of the dentist i am here to get my next lot of braces so i am currently on the fourth um aligner so i know i said i was going to do like a little catch-up vlog every time i change my aligners which is once a week every tuesday however i felt like there was kind of no point because all that there was to report is that it just felt a little bit tight every time you changed a new one there was no pain no ache um i haven't experienced any difficulties whatsoever um, I'm getting on absolutely fine with them um so now that I am back here for a review so I've had them for four weeks so that's four aligners and I'm here to get the next four and I'm also here for Matt to have a quick look at my teeth see how they're getting on see how much they've moved so I am back again at the dentist and I'm just going in for a little review of how my Invisalign is going I am on week 11 and I'm also going to be doing Matt's part of the Q&A with him so I'm going to get him to answer those on camera even though he hates being on camera yeah i'm excited because i'm on week 11 it's tuesday today um and i haven't actually got any more braces at home any more aligners so today i'll be picking up number 12 13 and 14 and then that is the end of my invisalign so this is quite an exciting appointment knowing that next time i'll be back here it will actually be at the end of my invisalign ready for my composite so i'm super excited is an invisalign suitable for most patients who want to straighten their teeth and Invisalign is suitable for most patients, yes. The only things that would stop you from having Invisalign are if your dental health isn't quite there, so maybe you need some fillings, your gum disease or, or anything like that, um, or if you don't have the kind of the motivation and the dedication to, to wear it for at least 22 hours a day. How long do composite veneers last? Composite veneers look good for maybe five to ten years with maintenance. Okay. So they may need a little bit of a polish now and then, a bit of a kind of show a bit of love from time to time. Um, but yeah, we do expect to replace them within the kind of five to ten year range after we replace them. Is there much pain during the procedure? No, no. Not zero, at all? Zero, zero, nothing at all. That's good to hear, because obviously I'm yet to have the composites done, so there's no pain, no drilling. If I start singing along to the radio, that's pretty painful. But okay. the actual procedure <laughs> okay. itself is not too bad. Okay, so my actual teeth will be fine. 100%. Do you composite veneers chip or wear and tear easily? Not easily, but they can chip, they can wear and tear. They are, they're very strong, they're not as strong as your own teeth. So what I tend to say is don't worry about people who talk about like biting into apples and stuff like that. Use them for that, that's absolutely fine. It's things that teeth aren't designed to do that might break them. So if you're opening packets with your, with your teeth or biting sanity or biting your nails. They're the kind of things that might check them. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, kind of normal eating, a normal diet, is they should be more than strong enough. And the beauty is, if they do chip or if they do wear a little bit, they can always be repaired. So okay. when you compare that to maybe a porcelain veneer, um, which is a great option in the right case as well. If you break a porcelain veneer, you've pretty much got to replace the veneer. Um, and then when you replace a veneer, it can be difficult to match the other veneers perfectly. Whereas with composite, we literally get the syringe of composite out that we used in the first place a year ago, whatever it was. Um, we can repair it and it's as, as, as if it never happened, it's as good as new. Do they discolour easily or stain easily? Or can you whiten them if you need to over time? You... So the composite itself won't get darker or lighter as time goes by. So it won't get darker and it won't go lighter if you went your teeth. What it can do is pick up a surface stain rather than anything else, um, which can be lifted off by whitening trays. So, so if you notice that they're starting to stain up at the margins or something like that, if you pop some bleach into a whitening tray, wear it for a few nights, it'll probably lift that surface stain off. Composites will stain faster than the average person if you're eating in the room three times a day okay. with, with a pint of black coffee. But, <laughs> so food like red wine, black coffee, curry, um, they will, they will, they will stay in the composites a little bit more. Are composite veneers better for your own teeth than full crown veneers? 
Yes. A traditional veneer, a porcelain veneer, is where we kind of shave the front surface of the tooth ever so slightly. We make a like a false fingernail made of porcelain and we cement it on. A crown is where we shave the tooth down to a peg and we make like a hollow tooth and slot that over the whole tooth. Um, both of them are more destructive than composite veneers. Composite veneers we don't have to establish teeth at all. For porcelain veneers and for crowns we do. Porcelain veneers only slightly, crowns quite a lot really. You know, a lot of dental tourism and stuff like that go abroad, it, it, they, they do crowns a lot more easy than we do. We, well, I, I know most dentists who I speak to and know, a crown is a last resort. A crown is for a tooth that's so badly damaged that it needs to kind of a, a complete rebuild, if you like. Whereas those kind of places sometimes do them kind of electively just to make it look nice, which is a shame. Because you can get the same results with composite yeah. with having to do the teeth. And I think for me it was more um, because obviously before we met, my plan was to go to Turkey and get my teeth done, wasn't it? And for me, the thing I always had in the back of my mind was the fact that I'm only 25 and like sacrificing like my fully healthy teeth for obviously just the way it looks was like a big thing. So like you say, just knowing you can get the same result without actually having to do that is obviously better anyway, isn't it? And you got, when a, you know, when a composite, you've got a plan for failure. So when a composite fails, the, the two ways of composite to fail is it's going to break or it's going to get to a point where it's staying up and, and roughened up to the point where you want to get a new kind of fresh one but both of those failures are very easy to deal with because you just replace the composite and it's fine when a crown fails often it's what we you know it's quite a big deal it, it, we get what's called a core fracture so that little kind of stump of tooth underneath the crown and can break off in which case you've literally just got a flat root what is your opinion on the turkey teeth trend turkey teeth so I've only called it that since you said it that first time. Yeah, and that's what it's kind of become known as in Liverpool. So what patients come in saying they want turkey teeth or they've thought about turkey teeth. And basically what it, it's a bit of a it's a way of saying dental tourism. So flying abroad to get your teeth done for cheap is basically what it is. Um there are some brilliant dentists in Turkey as well as every other European country and every other Asian country and everywhere else people might go. Um but there are also some not so good dentists as they're on the UK. The problem with the, the kind of treatments that tend to come back from Turkey from what I've seen, as well as other places, but Turkey's the on-trend thing at the minute, um, is that they tend to be overly destructive. So it's, instead of going for the less invasive option, maybe a little bit of a misland, a little bit of white and maybe some composite bonding, which is given us a result that looks lovely and has done minimal or no harm to your teeth. It's all done in a weekend, it's a quick fix, it's right, let's shave your teeth down, let's make a load of crowns and stick them on a few days later and send it back over again. When crowns go wrong, it can be a bit of a disaster for that mm. tooth compared to when composite go wrong um, and you just replace them. So the turkey teeth, yeah, they look great. I do not have a problem with kind of the aesthetic of them. Yeah. You know, people want big white teeth. Which is the reason why I was going to go there in the first place. Exactly. It's, it's a look and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, absolutely nothing wrong with one of that look at all. But it's it's getting it at the cost of the health of your teeth. Because some you know, some of these people you see coming back, they're like 18, 19. I know, it's crazy. And crown, you know, if if I did a crown that lasted for 20 years, I'd think that crown's done a good job to last mm. for 20 years. Um, and these people are like less than 40 when the crowns are failing. And that's young, like you've got another so, 40, yeah. 50 years old, you see, my age. Because like for me, because um, I got contacted by like one of the dentists out there asking me to go out there and for me it wasn't fully explained at the stage where we were emailing back and forth that that's what it was, like it wasn't fully explained to me like it was a crown, like this is what we're going to do to your teeth, like I would have not had a clue until I got there, the fact that they were literally going to shave it down. People maybe don't know what they're getting themselves into. I've seen it once or twice where I've, I've seen patients come back having a full mouth of crowns abroad and um, with tooth taking a couple of teeth and basically not really realising what they got themselves yeah. in for a little bit. Which is, which is scary really, because it's you only get one set of teeth. I mean, th this isn't me saying everyone needs to come and see me for comps, this isn't me saying that... That's exactly what yeah, you're saying. No, no, not at all. Everyone come and see Matt. <laughs> no, this is me saying that you should speak to your dentist or a local dentist or someone that's been recommended to you or that you trust about this kind of thing before you go to Turkey. Yeah. But before you go abroad, and um, at least get the information. Yeah. And if you want to go, 
Yeah. But you, an adult, when you make your decisions, yeah. as long as it's an informed decision. Okay, I'm back from the dentist. I've literally just pulled up on my driveway. He was like super, super impressed with how much my teeth have moved. Okay, so that all here. So number 12, which has got to go in tonight, which is mad. Like I can't believe I'm on number 12. 13 and then my final one which is number 14 and um basically i go to ibiza on monday the 9th of september and this aligner will be done on the tuesday that we're there so what he suggested that i do is try and keep it in for a few hours a day after that tuesday so even though technically i'm done with it then just to make sure like they're kept in place in the few days after matt's away that week because he's on his honeymoon because he gets married at the end of this month so we can't do anything then um but the following weekend so around the 27th 28th of september that is when i'm going to be getting my composite veneers it really has gone so quick and honestly it's been such a straightforward process like i'm so pleasantly surprised and yeah i'm just so excited so the next time i take you with me on camera i will officially be going to my composite veneer appointment which is so exciting so i will see you all then I've just pulled up at the dentist now and it is the day that I get my composite veneers which I am absolutely buzzing about I'm so excited I have only just taken my aligners off actually today for the first time because I was so attached to them I literally couldn't be without them and obviously I've got all of the like bits of glue um, attachments if you like on my teeth still from the brace and without them on it's quite rough so I thought it was just best to keep them in so the plan is to go in um, have all of my attachments obviously taken off my teeth Bumper stop you're not even asleep and then of course get my top 10 composite veneers so um i think it's gonna take i think he said i'd be done around half 12 it's nearly nine o'clock which is what time my appointment is um so it's a couple of hours oh just a little side note i'll show you what my teeth look like now um after my invisalign but before the veneers So as you can see, the Invisalign has actually corrected my bite totally. So the crossbite is completely gone, which means the veneers will actually last longer because they won't be grinding down over time. But yeah, I'm so happy with the results of just the Invisalign alone. Like I feel like my teeth are so straight. Um, and I just can't wait to see what they're going to be like with the veneers. Like it feels a bit surreal because when I obviously started my treatment, it was 14 weeks ago now. Um, and this has actually come around really quick. So I'm so excited i literally cannot even explain how excited i am um i bought matt a cute present um because obviously he's done a lot for me and he is honestly just the best dentist like, i cannot recommend him enough um so i'm gonna go and give him that and then we'll start filming so i will see you on the other side <laughs>
Oh my god, they look unreal. I literally love them so much. Why not like, I feel like I never want to eat again in my life. Yeah, no, you can't eat with this. Never again? Oh, that's good for my diet. Life, yeah. I literally love them. Gin's okay, but other than that. <laughs> oh my god. I just feel like, I don't know, you know, because you just don't know what to expect, do you? No, not at all. They're literally perfect. They're like everything I wanted. Okay, so that was before my Invisalign. Okay, zoom in a little bit. A little bit. Just not as much as you do. <laughs> Can we talk about the way you're holding my lip? How weird is like my crossbite? I never even noticed it that much before. Okay. <gasps> no way. That is literally bonkers. <laughs> How is that even possible? That's crazy. Oh my god. Wow, I was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it. I feel like that was a really good place to end the vlog where you see how shocked I am looking in the mirror at my teeth for the first time. I am so over the moon with them. Even now, like six months later, I'm still like every day obsessed with my teeth, staring at them in the mirror. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry for like the huge delay in getting this out like six months later. Um, but I do think this is a really, really good way for people to see who are considering composite veneer, how minimal like the damage is. Like, well, there is no damage really but basically this is reassurance for somebody to say that you do not have anything done to your actual teeth but yeah i guess i should take this time to say matt thank you so much for everything you've done so many compliments on my teeth and i feel like it has given me a massive confidence boost and i can't wait to come and have them polished and hopefully vlog james's journey with him i hope this has been really informative if you're considering an invisalign or composite veneers definitely get in touch with matt like he totally deserves the recognition and you can see for yourself on my teeth how amazing he is at what he does but yeah if you want to follow me on instagram i will put my instagram down below matt's will be there and his website as well but otherwise i will see you all in my next video bye